Hi Libra, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for um, 27th of July till the uh, 2nd of August. We've just entered the energy of Leo and we're going into the month of Leo. Wow, so, <laughs> well, that's the month of Leo is August, so we're going into an other energy. We're going into action, we're go more determined, we have more passion. Um, we might be motivated to um, get our passion started again, whether it's in love and relationships or in a hobby or at work. And we are also more logical. We stop to think and plan things, okay, and we go for what we want. So we're going to take a page out of the Leo, the Fire Signs book. So let's have a look what your reading is going to say. And if you're a cyber angel, welcome back. And thank you very much for your loyalty, and uh, for c following me and the channel, our channel, and also your likes and shares. We are getting a lot more cyber angels um, onto the channel. And if you're new and you would like to become a cyber angel, then please join us live in the live sessions Monday, Wednesday and Friday I go live. Okay, and welcome to the channel first of all and please subscribe and hit that bell on all and you will be notified. And there are some quirky things happening on YouTube so um, I do um, notify uh, under the community tab on YouTube uh, when I'm going out live and also on Facebook and Instagram. You can follow me there as well. Now, let, um, I'm using the nine card spread and I use the, this spread because it's my favorite spread also for my extensive readings. And there is a new reading on offer and that's the crystal ball reading. Um, if you would like to know what that looks like, then go to my uh, website and you can find the details below this video in the description box or in the top right hand corner um, in that white dot. This is the Querence card or the overall energy card and I'm going to use it both and Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The cards in the corners are Lenamon, the Enchanted Lenamon. This card is the Shadow uh, Lands and this card will uh, confirm or verify the three cards around it and vice versa. Then I've got the Reading Angel uh, cards and also the Archangel Metatron cards. And Archangel Metatron is the Archangel of the White Light, the Divine Light, which flows through us when he heals our chakras. Okay, let's get started, Libra. And the first card that you have is the Two of Cups. You might have found your soulmate or you know that you have a soulmate. If not, if you're not hooked up, you might be meeting a soulmate. This could be a f just a friend. It doesn't have to be in relationships. Anyway, a normal friendship, a, 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 like a, a, a lady and a man, or a lady and a lady, or a man and a man, or a father and a mother, uh, or mother and child, or father and a child, those can be your soulmates as well. As the saying goes, a sort looks for sort. And that is really what a soul, soulmate is. You can think the same, you feel the same, you have the same attitude, perhaps the same habits, the quirkiness, interests, and you can understand each other without speaking. You're totally emotionally imbalanced by the looks of it, Libra, so you don't have to do this way everything up, especially not with a soulmate. That is great. I know what it feels like to have a soulmate. It's beautiful. And sometimes we lose our soulmates because we 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 do we've we've met each other before in the past life and sometimes they stay with us and sometimes they leave us because we do learn new things in this life as well. Sorry, I'm just I've got a cup of coffee. And um, we do meet 
up in this life to finish off our tasks or uh, to put the eye on our uh, soul uh, soulmate side together and we do learn different things and our interests can change and that is how the uh, our soul grows that is what I call evolution you might stay together or you might I've also heard it and experienced that people always come back to meet the same people time again and again and again because they love each other so much and they can't be without each other that's where the two comes in you two keep each other in balance okay then we have the five of wands um, on Monday now like I said and I didn't even stop to think about that because I take a card as it comes and I don't start reading and looking at what I can say because it changes every time and every time a card uh, like last night it came out quite well in the live session um, I, I was using the big arcana uh, the white witch's tarot and every you can see so much in those cards um, and yet I think it was the Emperor came out for four times and for each person it did have an extra meaning because I was also using my psychic ability so a card can have so many extra meanings every deck is also very different it is also what kind of energy is around a card at that moment the basic meaning of the five of ones to me is competition a lot of readers say there can be disagreements and arguments but that to me is more like the five of swords anyway if there are disagreements it won't last very long it's only a, a giving a, a difference of opinion and that is good because that is also competition um, because you can learn from each other like I said um, this is just um, joisting playful young in the traditional tarot it is young men joisting and having fun learning how to become a knight okay it's the pages that are becoming learning to become a knight okay so there might be competition around you this could be at work this could be in a hobby this could also be in love as a soulmate stands usually for meeting your soulmate love have a look at your rom romance reading and see whether this reading um, adds on an extra okay and then we go to Wednesday and we have the full you might not be quite in balance on Monday um, but um, that could be because there is a new beginning and also perhaps competition like I say this new beginning can be a new house or a new relationship a new friendship new knowledge and um, that is what you don't you don't know the ins and outs of in something um, so you need more knowledge but the seeker that is the fool um, doesn't know everything as that is only the beginning of something take the leap of faith he hasn't and this is uh, the naught means there's no beginning no end so you have to do with what you have got don't look at what you don't have that is irrelevant don't lose your head about this new beginning or the competition okay don't lose your head stick your head back on your shoulders and take the step like the cat points that way take the step forward take that leap of faith you have your wits about you so don't worry now on Friday we have the three of cups well I can say if this is a romance reading um, there could be celebrations but there could also be a third party okay so don't lose your head about it because I think you're going to uh, with this new step if you're going to take this new step I think you're going to celebrate because a, a beginning is always a celebration okay it's something new and it, it it can cause for celebration 
new knowledge, winning the competition. If you are in a comp com uh, competitive mood or doing competition, uh, like running or swimming or doing a marathon this week, then you most probably will win. Boom! And you're celebrating with family and friends. And the weekend, we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is Scorpio, but don't exclude um, Cancer or Pisces. Okay, but she prominently, it is Scorpio. So you could be meeting up with a Scorpio. That could be somebody from the past that is your soulmate, whether you're a man or a woman. So see what this lady is like. She stands for love, passion, like the uh, uh, fire sign. And then we are already in uh, Leo. Okay, so there you are. I said at the beginning of the video there might be more passion, more love. And she is a lady that would like to stay in love and have a relationship for long term because she's loving and passion doesn't last um, it's l don't be a ship in the night so know your partner's um, uh, boundaries and know your own boundaries so that you don't have to weigh everything up and down stay in balance this could be a, your soulmate as well because they are caring nurturing emotional um, and they listen to their intuitions. Okay, she can. She's reached the stage of the queen. So this lady is uh, great at handling her um, emotions. But she could be spiritual, and she could be a medium, a psychic, or she could be working with uh, a uh, uh, her uh, her spiritual side, channeling and healing. Um, she could be an alternative uh, healer um, and she's a great mum so yeah and she's also sexy she likes to look good and feel good and she loves the joy of life she loves to enjoy life to the full she might be a swimmer she could be um, a doing a competition this weekend and swimming because look at the beach we've got the water and the lighthouse here and we've got the fish here as well and the octopus so water could be uh, quite significant you might be going to the beach together and spend the day on the beach listening to a radio wow lovely now um, you could be meeting her for the first time this weekend if you're not hooked up um, and this could turn into a long-term relationship this is more like a romance reading than um, a, an, a general reading so to some of you it might resonate very well and to some of you it won't so have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign here you've got the ace of uh, uh, clover so that's the ace of wands new action new passion new this could be a new job this could be a new passion uh, a love affair this make sure that if you want to make it last that you know each other's wishes dreams and boundaries this could also be a new job uh, a new hobby and something that you are going to go for boom you might go you might fall head over heels in love with this lady and you might um, be very passionate about this friendship but you want to make it last longer perhaps and so take action on that as well talk to each other communicate and find out okay be logical about it okay now we've got the queen the queen of wands and she goes for what she wants the queen of wands is Leo and we are in Leo so you could meet meet the queen of cups but you can also meet the queen of wands 
She's a very independent and she can be dominating and forceful person. She knows what she wants and she goes into action. She's also creative. If she can't get it and it's tough, she will invent something, create something to get what she wants. Okay? <laughs> okay. Um, and there could be a snake in the grass if this is with regards to a job. Uh, where was it? The ace. If this is regards to a job, then or a hobby, there might be an issue. Okay. If it sounds too good to be true, then it isn't. But luck is on your side. You've got number seven, and you've got the warning now. So heed the warning. Be on. Be alert and be focused on what is happening around you so you can get get what you want and so that you can celebrate right if you want to go for this person or this person or any other person for that matter that issue that makes you feel that you are soulmates then go for it take a page out of the Queen of Wands book and you will have celebrations you might even get engaged because you've got the ring you might even take it up to the next level your friendship or relationship okay you might say well you don't if you're a soulmate you don't even have to say it you have this bond but you can confirm it verbally it's sometimes very nice to hear uh, what uh, you are thinking because nobody can think what you're thinking or feel what you feel so confirm if you are meeting your soulmate tell them you love them and they are your soulmate they feel like family they're more than just a friend they're like if you've known them all your life well like I said you might have known them in your previous life again we've got a seven here the seven of cups dreams wishes if and here you've got the seven so the angels are with you they are giving you a sign and a five and you've got a five here as well on this card so that is two signs from the angels um, showing you um, that they are noticing you and they're with you 25 is the ring is also a seven so you've got seven 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 so if you see seven seven or seven 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 then that's the angels giving you the message look it up on Google if you want to know more information the seven of hearts is the seven of cups so that is dreams and goals and wishes um, I usually I I advise my querents that make a pro and con list and see which wish, which, which wish can come true quicker, quickly, and that will motivate motiv motivate you. Sorry about the blah, 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 tongue tie. That will motivate you to go on to the next wish and dream. Perhaps your wish is to get married and start a family because the tree means health and the family tree. Perhaps uh, your health isn't all that super duper. Um, so take uh, the next step by all means, but take the next step, but also rest. Okay? Don't get into your mind. Don't get depressed because it's not healthy for you take action take the next step towards what you want to do um, to being together with family or friends or with your partner and perhaps uh, like I said there will be more passion this month perhaps there might be something sprouting out like a baby okay um, we did have an ace didn't we no we didn't okay yes we did have a new beginning so this new beginning will bear fruit and will blossom like the tree you feel safe at the moment where you are so you have sprouted roots like your soulmate this is long term you feel together literally and figuratively okay 
go out in more into the open air you need space perhaps from your partner uh, or soulmate you need a little bit of space to think about things and to uh, um, be creative on how to uh, do things together what you want to do new things uh, perhaps a new hobby like I said okay you go yes we did have the ace a new hobby the uh, uh, ace of wands okay clover doing things together awesome then the last card we have we have the page of wands so you might meet um, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius but you will be getting news this could also be about work or uh, a hobby creativity is hobby action is work or about a project and you've got number 11 and the angels are giving you a doorway to step through a new beginning again this is also a new beginning and the broom means arguments you might have arguments and this could be with um, the page of ones this could be with a child or a teenager uh, a young somebody or it can be the qu and the queen of wands it could be the queen of cups so make sure that you might be in competition with one of these there you are this is the warning like I said when I do the extensive reading I also read the cards in more ways than what I'm showing you now I'm hearing let dirty water pass your door and in in the olden days they had gutters and the water would dirty water would uh, would pass in the gutter past the doorways and you would broom it away so clear away old rubbish and what is of no use to you okay move on don't get into other people's drama stay in peace so the broom can also mean quarrels and arguments and disagreements and it's lying next to the five of wands and like I said I don't uh, I don't really read the five as ones as disagreements but some readers do so this could be a confirmation uh, that is how strange the spirit works by putting this card here to clarify this card to enhance it be careful of competition be care don't be scared though um, but um, be careful of being in a group um, uh, and arguments and drama walk away from it right okay some of you might be clearing out uh, cupboards and making room for this union that is going to come this could be in business this could be in relationships okay so somebody might be moving in with you and you making room clearing out the old because this is the family tree that means that this relationship could um, be long term okay if you are not hooked up and if you are hooked up you already know it but you know that sometimes you have to clear the air okay don't let a third party ruin your relationship now we have and I think it's more career orientated but it, it looks also a lot like a relationship reading so take it from what you can you've got the career angel you might have more choices than just one look at the options that are uh, on offer to you so put your head back on get the right perspective and make your choice then you will have something to celebrate okay that's number 18 9 so you might be moving from one career to the next an end of one and a beginning of another one you've got number 17 so you're moving up from 17 to 18 okay and this is 17 becomes an 8 so that is the powerhouse and 
the house of inheritance and money so you might get a promotion or you might get more money in this new job conquering fear yes you must conquer fear look at that by putting your head back on getting the right perspective get in the mood and take that leap of faith start today wow remember you are in your power okay this week so I hope you have enjoyed this reading take care and stay safe and enjoy this week be blessed and join me in, uh, on Monday Wednesday and Friday there is also a new page and that page is on Facebook Charlie's Angel Crowd and I'll be using that page because it's a private group for meditations, workshops, uh, discussions and interaction because the room I will be making a separate video on that and so keep an eye out on that on about the new page on Facebook. Take care Libra, love you and ciao ciao. Please share and like. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.